hello guys so welcome to tech design so i hope uh, you enjoyed my all my tutorials so in this tutorial what i will do is i will just explain the spline path i'll do with uh, one of the example as you can see here we have one setup here so we have two connectors and one clamp in the middle so i'll just go to spline path and i just need to create a spline path over here so let me go to spline path and we have all discussed about these things and we have just uh, need to discuss on these things as well so we'll discuss that uh, today so we you can see here spline path uh, you need to input a points or you need to select a port so if you have any ports already existing uh, when you are qualified and uh, uh, connect connector so you will have a port so you need to select this port so once this port is selected so next we have when connector here so clamp so which you need to be selected as a port and then we need to in uh, uh, select this connector so as soon as you select these kind of ports is can you see here we have when spline path that is created so now this is how we can create a spline path so when this is connected you know locks to selected object is selected so uh, whatever the path we have selected here whatever the port we have selected here so that port if that port is moved uh, in the top direction or any other direction along with that uh, this spline path will also move so i'll just click now okay and i'll show you uh, i'm just trying to move this uh, connector so when i move this connector along with that even the routing path will also move as you can see here so routing path will also come and uh, sit on the top side so that is the advantage of lock to selected um, you know objects so when you move any connector so along with that connector this spline path will also move create a tangency between the spline paths say for example uh, i have a spline path here so this is my spline path and i'll just highlight this create uh, tangency so i'll click ok and then what i will do is i'll just create one more spline uh, from here to here so now i'll click ok so as soon as you click ok as you can see here there is a, a tangency between this connect this uh, curve and this curve so this will be created when you switched on this uh, uh, whatever the create tangency say for example i will select this and i will select this so then also we have one tangency along this direction it has a tangency for this curve uh, along in the opposite direction we have the uh, tangency but it will create uh, in the tangency manner so add uh, points to spline on subdivide so this will we will discuss on when we come into subdivide segment so uh, when we are working on subdivide so this will come and uh, uh, come into a picture so i will explain that how how with that works so this is all about this um, you know uh, the spline path so also we have when suppose if you if you want to edit this so you can just go to here and um, you can just edit whatever you want say for example if you want to change this length so for example uh, uh, for example as you can see here there is an extension so if you want to this extension uh, is came from uh, qualifying this part so when you are qualifying this part if you are given a back extension of uh, you know 1 mm or 1 inch so then this will take as 1 inch so if you want to change it you can anyway you can and just change it the way you want so in the same way uh, at this direction as well say for example you have a spline path here and you want to move um, spline path along at this point so you need to create a one more point along that direction so you can just go to new point and uh, <coughs> you can just keep it as this and now what i will do is i'll just go to point on a curve so i'll just select this you can see the point is created so once the point is created so you can just move this point uh, along any direction so along with that uh, you know the spline path will be moved so this is how you can do uh, create a point at any direction on the spline path and you can just try to move it so any time uh, when you switch on this uh, spline path along this point uh, you will have a control on this point to you know move along any direction so you can just click ok so this is all about the spline path guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, command and uh, uh, it will be useful for when you are working on electrical routing so please stay tuned and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys